MIT literally saw people's brains switch down a gear when using ChatGPT over a prolonged period of time. Today, we're talking about what is cognitive offloading and the five strategies to keep your team sharp and performing in the age of AI. Everyone says AI boosts productivity, which is true, but uncomfortable truth is that if you use it uncritically, AI will reduce the cognitive effort and erode skill within your team. I'm V, welcome to Air Genetic Lab. Let's get on with it. Three studies you should know about. Study number one done by MIT on LLM assisted essay writing. The students were broken down into two groups. One was using ChatGPT to write essays and the other group was not using it. The group that was using AI showed weakest neural connectivity and many of them could not quote essays that they wrote with the chat GPT. What was surprising that even a few months later, the same group still did not perform as well as the group that wasn't using AI. Study number two done by Microsoft surveying 319 knowledge workers found that higher confidence in Gen AI is associated with a less enactment of critical thinking steps and a lower reported cognitive effort during AI assisted tasks. Last but not least, a study done in the UK by SBS schools, a mixed method study reported negative correlation between the frequent AI tool use and the critical thinking scores, with the cognitive offloading mediating the effect. It's important to know correlation does not necessarily mean causation, but the pattern is very clear. The bottom line, the risk is there if you outsource your thinking. We offload it to calculators, satnavs, and Google. This time is deeper. It's not just memory. We started offloading to the AI process of thinking itself. If you're a business leader, this will hit your PNL. Your marketing will rely on the campaigns and copy on the AI. Your analysts will use ChatGPT to analyze reports. Your salespeople will draft replies using ChatGPT. Now, the output, the productivity will go up. But unless they do it with the critical thinking on, longer term, the productivity will drop down. And here's how. You have risks. It's going to be shallower analysis and a weaker originality. It's going to be a convergent voice. You and your competitors will be using the same chat GPT with the same models trained on the same data. Have you noticed how much of the marketing already done by AI slope using the same emojis? And you will get a team of passive operators instead of the problem solvers who can think outside the box and apply creativity. You won't see it immediately. Your team will be shipping outputs faster, but their thinking will become shallower over time. They will be slower to adapt and they will start sound generic like anyone else. This creates a feedback loop. More AI leads to less effort. Less effort leads to lower skills. Lower skills leads to more AI use. Psychologists call it cognitive miserliness. And that means our brains choose the path of least resistance. And AI makes that path frictionless. AI is here to stay. Don't bin it. Use it intelligently. Here's the five strategies to apply. Strategy number one, use AI as the thinking partner, not a crutch. Start with a human outline. Draft several bullet points before you prompt anything. Start with that human detailed output. Use the provenance logs in the documents that you generate. Make sure that documents have a header where a prompt that was used to generate that document is stated and where the people that generated the document with AI also get to sign off that the facts and sources have been checked. Perhaps a human editor signs off on the document being reviewed for clarity, completeness and a lack of hallucinations. Strategy number two, iterative prompting. In the first prompt, ask AI to put pros and cons or the biases and risks about what is it that you're working on. In additional prompts after that, critique it from a different perspective, from a perspective of a CFO or potential client. Get AI an additional prompt to verify if the document matches your house style, your brand, and the image that you're trying to project. Strategy number three, cognitive forcing. Implement no AI first pass. For important elements like a business strategy, your pricing, compliance, or governance, get your team, your human team to work on it first before getting AI involved. You will keep their thinking sharp and will force them to think outside the box. After using that into your prompt and generating the actual output, Use five whys to review and critique the documents that have been generated from various angles. It will keep your team thinking critically and will help them to internalize the contents of the actual document for the future applications. Strategy number four, 
red team use your human employees as well as AI to critique the output? What can possibly go wrong with what's been outlined in the document? Where can it possibly break? Strategy number five, train the habit and not the tool. Teach your employees the verification techniques. Teach your employees to think critically about every single part. Have a separate workshop. Use some of the time gained from the productivity boost. And in those workshops, get your employees to create and complete tasks by themselves in a manual way. Then do the same task with AI. Contrast and compare the outputs. Understand where the difference comes from and try to close the gap. AI isn't going away. Your future edge is thinking. Better questions, better challenges, better prompts. The winners will use AI to amplify their existing ways of thinking and get it to the next level, not to replace their thinking with AI. If you want to stay relevant in the age of AI, subscribe below for my future updates. Check the description for the downloadable and printable PDF file with a checklist to be shared with your team on how to keep and apply those five strategies. And subscribe to the waiting list as we're launching the training later this year to get your teams onto the next level of thinking with AI. Thank you for watching until the end. Check out additional videos here and I'll see you in the next one.